I have finished editing my week three of the pantry challenge. I am obviously not driving, but I'm riding in a car right now. And I hurt my back, so I had some trials and tribulations. So I didn't film everything that I ate. Um, and I did eat some of my pantry foods. I just am not feeling great. So I don't know that week four will come out, but I wanted to go ahead and post what I had from week three and part of week four, technically, I guess. Um, right now I'm eating some leftovers that, um, somebody made me some cheesy squash and I still have a little bit of that left. Um, I made a jar. I had like these meals in a jar and it was like country soup in a jar. You just had to add, um, carrots and celery and some canned tomatoes. And my mom came over and finished it for me and added a jar of my home canned ground beef to that. And that was really good. And I think I still have a couple of those that I'm working through. And I pulled some meats out of my freezer because I am trying to do lower carb because I am diabetic and I am on steroids for my back right now. And I'm trying everything I can to get myself better. But some things just aren't going my way. <laughs> but I am doing better. I am still struggling. I will probably still not be able to get very much done um, in the next couple of days. I'm imagining I'll be pretty out um, on rest mostly for another five days to a week or so um, just to be safe. I go back to my orthopedic doctor in two weeks and if I'm not better then then we move on to the next step. So I'm taking it easy. I was really excited about this June pantry challenge but since that's not going to work out for me I'm coming up with some other stuff while I'm laid up. So if you have any great ideas for me just hit me up and let me know. I appreciate all of you for taking your time to um, watch my videos, to subscribe to my channel, to like. I love getting comments and I love interacting with you guys. So thank you so much. Thanks for all of the well wishes and prayers. I hope that you guys all have a blessed week. God bless you and I'll see you next time. So today is Tuesday and I again made turkey, cheese, mayo, and green onion sandwiches for breakfast. I needed to use up my bread, so it's gone now. So tomorrow it has to be something different. So I used the rest of my bread, so I'm gonna mix my bread in my bread maker and then bake it in a loaf pan in the oven so it's not got that thing in the bottom of it. So I'm starting with three quarters cup warm water, two tablespoons of oil, I eyeball everything usually except for the yeast. Okay, to that we're adding a teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of honey. I really eyeball this because I hate trying to get honey out of a measuring spoon good enough and then it calls for two and a half cups of flour again I'm experimenting I'm trying to get rid of this I have so much sulfurizing flour and I'm trying to use it up so this is a half cup measure so I'm gonna do it five times and it's much finer than my all-purpose flour so We'll see how it turns out. And then the last piece is one teaspoon, one teaspoon of yeast. I grabbed a half of a tablespoon, so I'll do three quarters of it. And I'm just going to close this and then I do not have it plugged in so I'll plug it in and we're gonna run it on manual so that it just does the kneading and rising it has officially been far longer than I meant for this to be left but that's okay 
So I much prefer thick yogurt and because I left it sit for so long, it is definitely thick yogurt. So let me set this aside. So I'm just going to put it into a container in the refrigerator. So I just got this sour cream container and since that's kind of how I mostly use my yogurt is like sour cream replacer or like Indian food. Oh, I might have made too much. Okay, let me get another little container out. I'll put some of it into here. This one I'll probably make into like a snack for later. And then this one will be the one that I use. And then when I start to get low, then I just start making another batch. I have lots of the... I have lots of milk frozen. I buy, I would buy the milk when it was like on sale for 97 cents a half gallon. And then if I didn't drink it, I froze it. And so then when I, um, need it, I just make more. All right. And then this is the way it works as a replacer for things when you're baking. And so far, all of the things I've tried have been really awesome. So I'm saving most of it. I won't keep the little tiny bit that doesn't fit in there. And then I'll find a lid and a ring for that. So I wash my lids, so this is just a reused lid. And then I'll just put this in the refrigerator. We'll see how we use it soon. I also took the dough out of the bread maker and I have it rising in my pan. So I'll show you that in a little bit. So my cute little loaf, it wasn't big enough for the pan, but it has a decent like bread shape to it. You can see where I rolled it. <laughs> and it's so warm, I've, I've got it out cooling. But I'm gonna take a slice off and try it. So it looks good, like you would want sandwich bread to be. It's not got like any big air bubbles. And let me grab some butter. All right, I'm gonna take a nice bite. Mm. Fresh bread is the best. I'm gonna let this cool out. I'll uh, store it in a black bag. I'll probably have to make another lift tomorrow. because homemade bread is too good to not eat. Tonight for dinner, I pulled some fr chicken thighs bone in out of the freezer and I cooked them and then I pulled some of the meat and used some biscuits I had in my fridge, celery, carrots, onion, and some of those green beans, chicken and dumplings. So I am going to make some chicken salad. I cut some, I mean I cooked, not cut, some um, chicken yesterday, no, maybe it was the day before, for, and I made some chicken and dumplings. And I cooked it because I really wanted some um, chicken salad. So I got a couple of ribs of celery here that I broke off. I got some green onions. I got some 
red onion I'm gonna chop up and we're gonna put it into a bowl. I'm gonna pull some of that part off. All right, there's that. I want it to be pretty finely topped and I'm not gonna use, I don't think I'm gonna use the leaves. I'll probably put them in the freezer. All right, I'm gonna cut that little part off there. And then I'm just gonna chop some celery and then green onion and red onion. Make sure I pull all of those pieces apart that I didn't cut through all the way. And then I'm just gonna run through them again, just to kind of make them super fine. All right, and then we're gonna toss that into my bowl. I'm gonna leave the Little leaves over there. Normally I would just incorporate the leaves, but I just didn't feel like that would work really well. And I think I threw my last bag away. So I'm gonna start a new broth bag because I just made broth. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the green onions. I know not everybody films, but I literally just was like, did I even start recording? Thankfully I had. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing, get that into my bowl. And I'm probably only gonna do like maybe a quarter of this onion. Definitely got some weirdness going on in that one. So, of what I can use, I'm probably going to go ahead and cut up half of it. All right, it's a lot of onion, but onion's my favorite. All right, so 
Now I have celery, green onion, and red onion. I'm going, in that I'm gonna mix in mayonnaise. I'm gonna start at like three quarters of a cup-ish because I'm not exactly sure how much I'm gonna need, but I'm gonna pre-mix this part. And then I'm gonna add in some salt and pepper. And we'll give that a good little stir. And then I'm gonna chop up some chicken. All of the recipes that I read about the chicken, like, would put it in, like, the food processor or whatever. So, I decided to just kind of chop it. It was pretty shreddable when I pulled it off the bones. So, I wasn't too worried about how this would work. And I haven't even decided what I'm gonna eat it on because I wanted to make more bread because I ate all the bread. <laughs> so I'll probably just eat it with crackers, but. We'll see. And I have had the broth going in a slow cooker for almost two days now, so I'll have to get that canned up soon. I just keep letting it go. It's not gonna hurt anything. And I have cakes I have to bake for tomorrow. So, or decorate, bake and decorate. So, I'm more focused on that. All right, I'm gonna finish chopping. I went to um, wash my hands and so now I'm just gonna stir this all up but washing my hands my brother told me about this kid on Instagram I think it's called downright delicious and now every time I wash my hands I think of him going wash my damn hands sorry for the language but it's really adorable all right, I'm gonna need a little bit more mayonnaise, so I'm gonna squirt a little bit more in. I don't know that I have, I used to make chicken salad for my husband, but I've never really like made chicken salad in a long time. All right, so I'm going to take a taste. Mm. 
Hmm. I think it needs salt. It's a little dry. We're gonna go in with some more pepper. And then, I know I put celery in there, but my favorite thing that I put into my tuna salad is celery seed. And if I can find mine, I'm totally adding some celery seed. And I also really love minced onion in it. So I think I'm gonna add some minced onion. I know I have lots of onion in there already. Onion is my favorite. If I have never said my two favorite spices are black pepper and onion for most things. I also really like Cajun, but that's a blend, so. All right, I'm gonna taste it again. That should be what I needed. All right. Come on down. Oh. Mm, perfect. I'm going to go have some of this. Here's my plate. I'm going to go have this for lunch. I ate a couple of baby bells also, so that kind of counts as lunch too. So, and if I want more, I'll just get more. So, I made some broth, and it's just been cooking in the slow cooker for a few days. So I'm, oh, I'm gonna strain it. It smells wonderful. And I made a lot apparently. Alright, so I'm gonna make this whole bag of rice so it's the entire pouch three and a half cups of water and I'm gonna use broth instead and a tablespoon of butter so I have my rice cooker ready I'm just gonna pour it in and then grab So I need three and a half cups, and I can't find my measuring cup right now. So this is one and a half. So I need three total jars. So that right there is a cup and a half. So I'm gonna pour that. This smells so good. I did not salt this, so I probably will put some salt in well, I won't in the rice until it's already got seasoned in it. And then I'm going to just do like one extra scoop. No. Okay. Alright, so that's that. Let me grab some butter. So we're gonna 
plop that in there. And then I'm just gonna run this on the white rice mode. Get it plugged in. And then I'm just gonna turn it on white rice and start. I'm gonna strain out the rest of this and then decide what I'm doing with this right now. I showed you when I cooked that chicken but when I cooked the chicken I took the bones and some scraps from my freezer and made the stock so I'm gonna let this sit and cool for a little bit while I decide what I'm gonna do so rice is done it has really good flavor that extra chicken broth mmm really good and I decided I would can the extra chicken broth, so I got that going in the pressure canner. I got four quarts, and there's a teeny tiny bit left. <coughs> <coughs> so I think I had about five quarts of broth in there. So not bad. And I just realized that I filmed this upside down. So I had my little back issue today, and I just got back from the emergency room. And my mama, who's so kind, heated me up a jar of my homemade hamburger soup for dinner. And then I brought up some snacks and plenty of drinks. I got some screaming Hot Veggie Puffs, some pork rinds that are with tahini. Um, and I got some soda and sparkling water and Gatorade and everything I could possibly need. This is my midnight snack. It's really 1 o'clock in the morning. Caprese. Yum. So while I'm laid up, my friend came over and made me some cheesy squash and zucchini for dinner. And I'm going to eat as much as I can. Work as I